be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our ads from Sparkle Shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artists, friends, who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda Shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Would you like to enter our biggest ever prize draw? Complete any purchase during any live show featured within our Summer Festival of Quilting event and you will receive automatic entry. Keep watching the shows as the mega bundle grows. Prizes will be added throughout the week and everything could be yours. The lucky winner will be announced at the end of the 4pm final call show on the 4th of August. Good luck. Yes, indeed. Good morning. How are you? Are you well? It's Saturday. How did you sleep? First of all, let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, was you tossing? Was you turning? Oh, it was warm last night, wasn't it? I got in the car this morning at four o'clock. It was still 21 degrees. 21 degrees. Oh, at four o'clock this morning, it was still that temperature. It's ridiculous. But I hope you slept well. If you're still, if you're a bit blurry, oh, I didn't think, oh, I can do with a nap. Don't nap yet. Don't nap yet. We are in the Summer Festival of Quilting. Yes, what is this I hear you cry? Well, every sort of quilting show, every soft craft show, everything that involves a bit of thread, basically, uh, we have a bit of a prize draw. And from the show, we take something and we'll pop it in to the large bundle. Everything that you see here so far has been on over the last couple of days. Now, this is the biggest bundle we have ever given away. At the moment, it is worth £1,028. And 29 pence... Oh, 79 pence, don't forget the pence. Uh, and one person... So if you buy during the hour, you'll be put into the draw. And then on the 4th of August, which is not that long away at uh, 4 o'clock, we will, um, well, we'll draw you out. One lucky person will be drawn out, and you'll be winning all of this and more as well. Uh, would you like to enter our biggest ever prize draw? All you simply have to do is purchase during the hour. We'll tell you what hours you purchase through as well. Uh, then keep watching as the mega bundle grows as well. Uh, at 4 p.m., 
uh, final call show on the 4th of August, one lucky person will be winning all this stuff and more because remember we're going to keep adding to the draw now i'm not going to work i'm not going to tell you at the moment what we're going to add this hour there's something though there's something coming oh yes we're going to show you at the end it's not me no 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 i'm not part of the prize draw i thought you wouldn't want me anyway uh, but we are in a happy hour as well is what we're in so it's a happy hour. It's a 7 a.m. happy hour. And oh, and what a happy hour we've got for you. Oh, if you're tucked up in bed at the moment, sit up. You're going to want to. It's the quilting cowboy. Want to know more? What's this? Howdy to all my friends at Hochanda. I am super excited to be involved with you and to be um, in the UK being able to deliver new products to you. I'm super excited to be uh, joining this family. So, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Dale. Last name is Alan hyphen Rouse, Alan Rouse. And so I am known in the United States as Quilting Cowboy. So if you look on social media, any platform, you can find me under Quilting Cowboy. And I'm so excited to be able to be here with you guys and show you some of my work as well as kind of present um, new projects that we're going to be working on. So just to kind of uh, go backwards, I wanted to show you a few of my projects. Okay, here we go. For the first one, this is the Deer Head Cabin Quilt. I love this one. I'm also a teacher, so all the quilts that I produce are uh, technique specific, right? So this one, I show my students how to do a large graphic applique work, right? Which is what we do with the deer head here, right? And then the rest of it is just um, kind of borders. It's a very simple project, but it really does teach you a new technique, and I hope that you love that one. Okay, let me show you a few others. Okay, this one is for all the bee enthusiasts out there. Now, I wanted to do kind of an updated modern bee pattern, and so I came up with this, which is essentially just large hexagons, right? And so it's an easy to create pattern. The pieces are super large. There's not a ton of um, piecing, and all my patterns come with a step-by-step -step video tutorial so that you can actually watch me doing it, essentially ensuring your success because it's not just a paper pattern, but you can also, um, in the pattern is written the name of the tutorial you just type that into any internet web browser and it'll take you right All there. Right, look at this one. I love this one. Because I have Scottish heritage, I really wanted to do something that has a thistle, right? That was really important to me and so I came up with this which is a giant applique on top of some piece work and um, it's called um, Scotsman's Pride. All right, and again, it shows you how to do this. Now, if you don't love applique, this might not be the project for you um, because it is a lot of you know putting the pieces together of the applique, but I hope that you do like it. Again, it's available for sale on my website, quiltingcowboy.com, and of course, we'll make it available to you guys in the UK, okay? So I'm not gonna go through a lot of my projects. I did wanna just kind of generally introduce myself and show you some of my work. Now, we are gonna be doing some special things for you, and so we're going to be showing you that in a little bit. Yes, we are. Oh, he's a character. I like him already. I do. That gives you a flavour of what the, the sort of, sort of what the quilting cowboy brings to her chanda. Uh, and he brings quality as well. Uh, right, and let's kick straight off with this because it's a happy hour deal and the prices only last for an hour. So first of all, our beginner's bundle. Uh, £64.94 is what you're looking at. And there's also one flexible payments, two flexible payments of 30 Two pounds and forty-seven pence. Five five zero one one four is your item number. Well, what are you getting? I hear you cry. Well, you are getting both pattern books. Now, you're getting pattern book two and pattern book one as well. But what do they have inside? Well, each of them contain at least three projects. Okay. So in the first one, in pattern book one, you're getting the wall hanging, which is beautiful. Uh, you're getting the bottle bag. And you're also getting the quilt as well. Said bottle bag in B quilting. All looks nice, layered as well, beautiful. We've got a little demo for this later on as well. Uh, then you've got the B, which you can see just underneath, just here. And we've also got the quilt hanging up, which is absolutely beautiful. So it's basically the three items that you see here already and the quilt that's currently behind me. But that's not it you're getting a second project book as well. Now, you're not just getting the books in this, okay? So you're getting the bear this time. You also get the picnic basket, which I think is absolutely beautiful. So you get the basket that it, it does come out. Let me show you a lot. So you get the bear. You also get the basket, 
which goes nice with your bottle bag. And then we've also got the quilt as well, which is down the far end. You are getting everything that you see here for £64.94. 550114. But not only do you get all that, you're also getting the fabric panels that we have as well that to make the project. So basically you're getting everything that you need in the kit. Now these are huge. You're getting half meters of the fabric already, but it's all in one. Now, shall I show you how big these actually are? Come on, come with me. Come on. Let's take them all with me, okay? So, they're absolutely huge is what we're looking at at the moment. So this is uh, this is from book number 2. So this is one this is the one that makes the teddy bear. So this is the teddy bear one that we've currently got at the moment. Look at this. So we've got all of this material, okay? And it goes on and on and on. It goes all the way to the bottom. Basically, it's a counter's worth of material is what you are, and more, is what you're actually getting here. So you get all the patterns. You're getting all the half meter sheets that are in there as well. So let's start down, let's start down the far end. So you're getting the teddy bears that are in there. So you're getting all the teddy bears that are in there already, all the lines for the teddy bears, and you also get the material as well to make the hamper, the little picnic hamper. So these are the insides of your hampers that you see here, all those teas. So basically all the templates have been done for you. Then as we move down, we get the template again to make, once again, the inner side, the inner workings um, of your basket. So this is all your basket just here. Then you get your half meters. So now we're getting your half meters of fabric to start looking at that beautiful quilt that we've already got as well. You are getting more than enough material here to make all three projects. So this material will make the teddy. It will also make your picnic basket. Okay, so you can see the materials that have been used already. So the outer edge of the material is the outer edge down by the teddy bear that we've already got down here. And then from there, what we've also then got is you've also got the, um, the throw, the wall hanging as well, out of one piece of material. And you get the booklet thrown in as well. So now you also get the booklet. And that is just one kit. If you just want that on its kit, the details are at the bottom of the screen. So if you just want this kit on its own, the details are at the bottom of the screen. 764127 is right, number 34 pounds and 99 pence. But then, and then we can get even better. So the saving obviously comes in the bigger kit. So now we've got the second piece of material. So once again, let's open all this out so you can see what you're actually getting. Now, through all of this, we've got demos throughout the shows as well. As soon as I've showed you this, we'll go to demos and things just so you can see. But I just want to see the, the amount of material that you are actually getting in this kit. Look at all of... I think this one's even bigger than the one before. I am still here. Uh, they're all half meters, but look at this. So now, all this is going to create the bottle bag that you see here as well. We can't get it all in shot. It's that big. So you're getting the bottle bag in there. You're also getting the wall hanging once again. We're getting two wall hangings out of all this. So you've got all your panels that we see in there. I will meander down so you can see. To me, hand it down. We've got all of this that you can currently see at the moment and more as well. All of this, both of them, the one, this one, and the one underneath as well, £64.94 £94 today. 550-114 is your item number. Very busy this morning already on these. You can see why opens up a flexible basket, £32.47. £47. You're saving £5 on this as well. And then your price will go back up uh, in 49 minutes is what it will come back up in. So it's worth picking up now because you're getting six projects and the good quality material as well in your kit. Uh, very busy across the board. Maybe you just like the fabrics on their own. Shop ahead of me on the website. We've got a pick and mix on the show, which I'll also show you as well. Uh, sure. Actually, let's show you live. Let's show you what I've actually got in the studio so you can see them all together in the studio that we've already got, which is absolutely beautiful. So. What have we got? We've got a pick and mix little bundle that we've already got now. So a nice little pick and mix. So if you like the bundles maybe from the teddy bear collection, I've got them all 
here now for you. I've got them all in half meters. This is the Deer Valley Pick and Mix. You can pick any three of these for £19.49. So you're getting a meter and a half of fabric. Now I'm thinking, when we're doing the research this morning, it will come. So if you buy three of the same, it will come still in half meters. It won't come on the uh, on like a long meter and a half, as it were. So they all come individually. So but now look at what you're getting now. The quilting cowboy, he's been busy because he's done me a little swatch. Oh, I know. Uh, so you can now see what you're getting in each of the patterns. So you can see how well they all work together. They work together beautifully. So if you're going to make little tiny projects, if you want to make those big projects as well, this is just the details. This is not the size they will come. They will come on the half metre for you, uh, just so you can see. But save open them all out. I'll open one so you can see. This is the star flower that you're looking at at the moment, which is beautiful in that half metre fabric. Good quality fabric as well. Um, right, save me talking about them. Let's get the man himself. The man who knows more about anything. It's our quilting cowboy. Uh, old quilt, tell me more. How did all my friends in the UK at Hochanda? I'm so excited to be with you again and doing another mini collection of fabrics. This one is really inspired by the outdoors, as you can probably tell. <laughs> With summer coming up, I always think of camping and outdoors and doing things like that. So I wanted to do a fabric collection and projects that kind of reflect that. So I started with this one here, which I really love. It's uh, kind of the same colors as buffalo plaid, right? And we're going to be making a super fun um, teddy bear out of that. It's going to be adorable. And we have some other exciting um, projects for you as well. And so let me show you some of the other fabrics. All right, this is my next fabric. I really love this one. The green, I think, is really going to offset some of the reds in the collection, and it does have the same red in these little stars here, and then it has these arrows that crisscross. I think that that's going to be a great one, and it's really going to add to the vibe and feel of our bear and outdoor collection. <laughs> now, I've been designing fabric for a few years now, and this has got to be one of my favorite patterns of all times. I love, love, love like the little berries and the leaves and the way it all kind of comes together. It reminds me a little bit of kind of vintage wallpaper, um, but I think we're going to be making some super fun things out of this, especially in our bear quilt. <laughs> all right, check this one out. I don't ever think that a quilt is done until it has some yellow or some form of the yellow uh, kind of hue in it. Um, my first quilt teacher always told me that it's the yellow that makes quilts dance. And I didn't really understand what that fully meant until I started getting into it more. So this one is going to be the fabric that's going to make our uh, quilt dance and sing. So I love, love, love this one. It has little chestnuts, um, excuse me, acorns, acorns and little leaves. Um, I love the sage. Uh, color against this yellow, so I hope that you enjoy it too. It's going to be a fun one to work with. All right, then look at this one. Love, love, love it. It is actually reminiscent of my tattoo. Which one? <laughs> This flower here, right? It's kind of incorporated into this idea. It's super Western in terms of having almost a Western floral. Um, I hope that that's popular over there in the UK. <laughs> but I love it, and I think it ties the whole collection together. It has the sage greens, it has the yellows, it has the reds. Um, so I hope that you love that one, and it'll, again, really tie into our bear-themed projects. Now, I always like a stripe or something along those lines in any collection, including a mini collection. I really love this one because it has kind of a natural curve to the lines. And so I thought that that was really fun and could kind of incorporate kind of a more, you know, natural feel to something along those lines. This one we're going to be making a bag out of and then also um, having some trim with some of the other fabric. Now, of course, you can always switch the fabrics up depending on you know what you want your project to look like. But I wanted to make sure that they're all going to go together, all going to work great together. And the colors are really going to help each other kind of, you know, vibe and sing. I love that. So anyways, let's get started. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it's back to me. So we will get started, though, very shortly. We've got a lot of demos on the way. Do not fear. Let me show you. I love this man. This man is the best. If you're watching Mr. Quilting Cowboy, can you email me in? Studio at uh, it Probably early, wherever you are. But he, he might be watching. He might be dedicated. Uh, so, uh, studio at tachanda.com. Drop me a line. Just say hello. I think you're a legend already. I can't wait to meet you. Ryan, we've got another pick and mix on the show as well. Uh, this is from the second collection. So, in theory... 
The two projects I showed you at the start, if you want more of fabric or you just want the half meter pieces, I've got them singly as well if you want. So this is another pick and mix, but now we're talking sort of your, well, sort of your, your sort of winter and Christmas feel, I think you could get out of these. You've got your greys and your mustards, which are very, very on trend at the moment. They're very, very big. Um, if you are going around like the high street stores or looking online on the department stores, you'll see the greys and the mustards are very, very in. And you can get, once again, half metre pieces. You can pick any three for £19.49. and So let's start with the beautiful stars uh, that we've got here at the moment. The stunning little stars. You've got that grey background with a green flick on there, that little green fleck that you've got of the star, with also the sort of mustard that's just toning in the background. And you remember you're getting half a metre of this if you're going to put it in your pick and mix. Then, I love this one. There's something about it. You just get that little fleck of mustard that's in there with a little red berry. It could, doesn't have to be a berry, it could just be a geometric shape as well if you want it to. They iron beautifully as well. I've been ironing some this morning, with some of the quilts behind it, and they're absolutely iron. Lovely. And Matt said as well, iron, it, there's always a treat when you get a nice bit of fabric and you give it a little press and it takes all the creases out. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Then we've got the yellow. I think this is the yellow... Desert yellow is what we're looking at now. Um, we, so yeah, the sunny ho honeycomb that you've got in there. So you've got the hexagons just in the background. But not just your plain honeycomb, because they're all over-stamped, as it were. Over-printed. Gives you a little 3D look that you've got. Going there. Absolutely beautiful. Then from there, we've got the good old candy stripe. These remind me of jarmas. Obviously, they, they wouldn't wear them as jarmas, but you, you, you know those good old-fashioned jarmas that you can get? Matching set, top and trousers. Little pocket in the top. Oh, beautiful. Our Scott wears them, apparently. Uh, but I, we won't tell you how I know. And then we move on down. We've sort of got your circles, but now these could be flowers as well. There is, I think there is something quite more common wise about them. Remember when they used to be in them little scenes in the bedroom? There is, and then little jarma sets. It's those sorts of colours. Uh, the little dressing gown that you've got on there, absolutely beautiful. They would be stunning fabrics to make little cushions, little bolster cushions, as it were. Um, even just little gifts, little tiny gifts, all those little, you know those little scraps you've got and you want to incorporate the main fabric? Maybe use this as your main fabric that you've got. £19.49, 366996 is your item number. Uh, this is how, you, if you don't know how, if you've never done a pick and mix before, let me show you. It's a bit like Woolworths. You just pick what you, pick your favourites, as it were. Uh, so, uh, it's £19.49, pence. now it says you have zero of three items, and now it will count it for you. So now you just pick, this is the Deer Valley fabric that we're looking at at the moment. So we'll have Red Stag, we'll have, um, yeah, the Deer Valley Check. You've got to have a bit of check, because that's our blending fabric that's in there. Then we need one more bold print. Go on, Ross. What are you going for? Oh, he's going for star flower. Yeah, I knew he would. I knew he loves a star. Uh, then, three of three, add them to your basket. Bish, bash, bosh, you are good to go. You've got ten minutes to check out your baskets before we pop them back on the shelves as well. Also, look on there. If you're a brand new customer, and now, now I know no one's watching, so I'm going to say, I'm just gonna, uh, I've not been in there for a few days. I've not been told off for three. So I might as well say it now and start the ball rolling. If you're a brand new customer remembering, you've never bought from us before, and maybe this is your first purchase, see the price there? I think we can take a tenner off that by using, is it a fiver? Uh, we can take a fiver off the price uh, by using the code. The code's all on the website for you. I'm not allowed to give it out on the telly box because I do get into trouble, uh, but we can take a fiver off that price. So if you're a brand new member, just have a little thing, take it down to about 60 quid. That's what you're looking at there. Uh, right then, the bigger bundle, this incorporates everything. So things you can make, the teddy bear, the wine basket, the wine holder, the picnic basket. I'm loving that picnic basket and the wine holder. I also like the teddy bear as well. My mooch would love that. We're going to see the, which one? Oh, we're going to see the teddy bear demoed in a minute. Yes, indeed. Woohoo! Uh, then we're also making all the quilts on the back as well, the two quilts that we've got on the show. It's absolutely beautiful and there's so much you incorporated. £32.47 across two flexible payments. It's all right me telling you, you get full instructions as well. But let's go to the man himself who's going to tell us a little bit more on how to make the little teddy bear. This super cute teddy bear, I hope you love it. It's really a simple project to make and I love it in my fabrics. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the back of the head pattern piece, right? Put that here and then pick up the arm and the leg. 
All right, what you're gonna wanna do is cut the printing so that it goes all the way to the edge of the paper. All right, see how my printing now goes all the way so those registration marks are a lot easier to line up. And just find this brown one here where the arm connects right there and tape that down. You know what, I'm gonna actually cut the top of this too just so it's a little easier to see. There we go. Okay, there we go. And tape that down. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the back, back side piece. Just gonna get rid of that. And same with here. So the printing goes all the way to the edge, especially important here in that little circle so that you can see exactly Right, where those lines are meant to line up and then just tape that together and then that's finished. Same with the other side. Because this fabric is directional, you're going to want to really pay attention to this next step to make sure that all the fabric is headed the right way. So we have two layers of fabric, right, that are basically wrong side to wrong side, right? Good side facing up. And then we're going to take our pattern piece and just lay it down here and now we're going to be cutting through two right plies of fabric and so just do that slowly and gently I now have my front pieces cut out I'll do the same on the back Okay, so I have my two sides that are for the back. And the first thing we're gonna do is, see this little part here, that's a dart, all right? So we're just gonna take this and fold it over and line these two parts up, right? So again, let me show you. Here, you're going to fold this over and then line, right? Line these two up and then just sew along here. Okay, easy enough? Okay, we were able to put that little dart here in the butt. You can see what that looks like now that it is sewn, right? And so what we're going to do now is put them good sides of fabric to good sides of fabric, right? And sew it from here, basically the top of the head, just above where the ear connects, all the way down to the butt here, just outside of where that dart is. You're going to want to make sure that when you sew the back side of this, right, from the crown of the head to the tail, that you leave open about a three inch gap here so that when we put it together, you can, in fact, put the stuffing in there. So don't forget about that. And then, all right, we're starting to take shape here. Look how cool that is. All right, so set the back sides to one side, and we're going to deal with the front. Essentially, we're going to do the same thing, okay? First thing we're going to do is look at closing up this dart, again, just by folding this over, folding this over, and then sewing this closed, okay? Got it? Folding it over, sewing it closed. We'll do that on both sides. Now, before we go much further, you may want to identify where the eye is going to be if you're using a safety eye. If you're using a button at the end because you're not going to give it to children, that's fine. But if you are giving this to children, we do suggest that you use safety eyes, okay? So you might want to just mark that right there where that's going to go on both sides. Okay, moving on. The eyes are marked here. Now, I'm not going to put in the eyes right now because once I have these two pieces together, I can better tell the expression of the eyes and how it relates to the face of the bear, okay? So I'm not gonna do that now. What I am gonna do is put these right sides together, all right? And then just sew down the front, starting from here, all right? So I'm gonna be starting from here, and I'm just gonna sew all the way down the front of it and end right here, using a quarter inch foot, right? So here, all the way up, and then ending here. 
All right, let's do that now. So that is sewn. You can see from here to here. Now I can kind of turn it right side out and take a look at the face and see how I feel about the placement of the eyes. Okay, so for my bear, I mean, they're okay. I might want to move them a little bit depending on, you know, his face. Let me turn around here so you can see it. Okay, so right now I have the eyes marked here, right? Is that the expression I want? Well, let's take a look. If I hold this one here and this one here, right? You can kind of get a sense of how that's going to look and if that's the correct expression that you want on your teddy bear. So just play with that a little bit, and then we're going to put the eyes in at this stage. All right, this is looking good, so I'm going to take both sides. I'm going to put them face to face and start pinning them all the way around the perimeter. I choose certain points where there's kind of an intersecting moment, like the armpit, the corner of the ear, things like that, um, where it should kind of line up to go around and gauge where the pins should go. All right, so I'm just gonna pin it all the way around. I have sewn all the way around the perimeter. The eyes are in, I even put a little nose here. So the next thing you're gonna do is take these darts, right, that are not sewn, right, at the foot, and you're just going to open that up, right, and then put the seams together and put a pin in that and sew that closed, okay? Same with the other foot, All right? Open it up like this, pin the seams together, and then you're just gonna sew that closed by going straight across here with a quarter inch seam allowance, straight across there, okay? All right, that's it finished. You can see that where the pin was, the end of that foot, I just put a little arc Right, just a little bit of an arc to that so when you open it up, it's not just a flat line, okay? All the machine sewing is done now, so turn it back over, find that hole where we left in the back, and turn them inside out and get them ready to stuff. Check it out. I think he's coming along looking pretty cute. Now, when we're stuffing it, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you pay attention to the ears first. You want some batting in there, but not a ton. So I'm going to put some in there, and then I'm going to do a little seam so that when I stuff the rest of it, no more is going to go into there. Same with the um, arms and legs. You're going to want to pay attention that you don't overstuff them, that there is less here. You can even put another seam there if you want, um, just for, to allow for flexibility of the arms and legs. If they're too stuffed, obviously they'll just stick out like this right so you want to pay attention that you put lots in the arm and then very little in the arm here so it can still move same for the leg okay so now let's get to stuffing check it out <laughs> he's super cute so you have this hole in the back obviously that you just need to hand sew up just with a little you know quick hand stitch and then he's pretty much ready to go Look how cute he is. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoy this project. I really had fun making it. And I hope you enjoy my fabrics as well. And um, as always, you can uh, join in more fun by looking for me at facebook.com slash quiltingcowboy or on Instagram or YouTube. All right, talk to you soon. I genuinely love that man. I think he's hilarious. Uh, yes, but you can make the teddy bear as well. The teddy bear could be yours uh, to create the beautiful, beautiful teddy bear. And how quick and simple was he to create as well? A very good starter project that you've got. Would you? Uh, you have a really good little starter project that you can create here. And you're getting full instructions to make the teddy bear in the kit as well as those other three projects that you're getting in there. So you get the teddy bear, you're also getting the cover and you're also getting the blanket as well, the nice little blanket that's in there. Maybe a little picnic throw that's in there. But not only are you getting set one, you're also getting set two as well. So you're getting both pattern booklets and full sets of patterns that we've got as well. This time to make the wine carrier, the picnic blanket, the bee blanket and also the duvet that's behind me. They're beautiful quality, high quality fabrics that we're talking about here. When you look at them you think, 
they're never going to create that. But you can. You can be creating with full instructions that we've already got. Remember, we are an event, the Summer Festival of Quilting. Uh, that bundle will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Remember, all you need to do is buy something during this hour. Your name will be put in the hat on the 4th of August. We'll pull something out and they'll be winning thousands upon thousands of pounds of high quality equipment and fabric. Uh, we'll be putting something in from this hour as well, but you need to buy something to be put into the drawer. Now, uh, remember one of the projects was this beautiful, beautiful wine carrier that we've got here as well. We pop a little tag on. Uh, what a lovely little gift it would be to create. 550114 is your item number, £64.94. pence. Also split that on two flexible payments. But let's say we, uh, see how easy it is to create the actual wine carrier itself. For the first step of this project, you're going to want to cut a square that is six by nine. Now, this fabric is somewhat directional, and I like the uh, kind of stripes going up and down rather than side to side. So nine inches is going to be the long way, and six inches is going to be across. Okay, let's give that a cut. Next, we're going to cut six by nine from the gray fabric. It's essentially the same size as the last one we did. Okay. This one is not as directional, so it's not as important that you cut it one direction or the other. Next, from the yellow honeycomb pattern, we cut a square that's six and a half by eleven and a half. Next, we're going to just assemble these with a quarter inch seam allowance, just like this. Okay? These are together, and then just Put the yellow on. Next, grab some fusible interfacing and cut a piece that is 15 by 11 and a half. Next, we apply the fusible interfacing to the back of the fabric. All right, here we go. Next, cut out your pattern piece that looks like the top of the bottle, right? And then we're going to essentially lay it on top and then trace it. Let me show you that. All right, this is a little bit hard to see. White, but you take the pattern piece, right? And put it here in the corner so that we can trace this along here, right? and then the other side, and then you just move it over and do the same thing. Then with some extremely thin batting, in case I'm using a uh, piece of flannel, which will work as well, cut a piece that is the same as our template piece, right, with the fusible on it. And so we're gonna be making that same shape. You can see, in fact, it is the same size, which is 11 and a half by 15, okay. Next, we're going to just add a little bit. Yeah, we will go back. Do not fear. We have a few technical issues with that VT, but we will be back to watch the end. Right then, before we go back, though, they're very, very busy on the pick and mixes. You're loving the pick and mixes on their own. Remember, choose any three from the sunny fabrics, but we can also go for the booklets on their own as well. If you wanted the, just the two set of booklets, maybe you've got your own fabrics at home. Maybe you've got all those boutiques that you've got, and you think, actually, I'd like to make that teddy bear, I'd like to make that little basket, but I'd like to make it, I just need the patterns. Just give me the patterns and I'll do it myself. Right, I can do that for you. And we thought we'd have a little flick through of the, uh, the booklets themselves, just so you can see what you're actually getting. Let's start, we'll start with booklet two. Okay, so the booklet so you can create the teddy bear, the hamper, and also the beautiful throw that's in there. And as we go through page by page, it tells you a bit about the quilting cowboy. Bless him. Look at him. Look at him. You've got to love him. On his little throw there. So then you've got bear in mind. So this is the quilt that we're making now. So it gives you the template for the bear. Maybe you go and photocopy this, so you've got it there as well. And then it will tell you everything that you need to know uh, here as well. Then, more beautiful little pictures. I wonder if this is his spare bedroom. Love it. it must be chilly over in Texas. Uh, then we've got the teddy bear fabric. So with the teddy bear, it shows you once again a full teddy bear with full patterns. This is the one that we saw in the VT to tell you how to stick it all together. You're getting full patterns in there. Just coming home from the ranch. Then we also get your picnic case. 
So you're getting your picnic case in there as well. It gives you full templates. Now remember the templates have already got, if you're going for the fabrics, these are already printed onto the fabric for you. So all you simply need to do is cut them out. Um, so that is booklet one. So that is your quilting cowboy. Then we've got booklet, well, that was booklet two. This is booklet one. So now what we've got is it's now three projects. You're making the wine bag in there and you're making the two throws on there as well. So let's go through and have a little look. It gives you full patterns and diagrams and shows you how to use everything from there. It's got more stunning pictures. And then you've got all of the buzz, the wall hanging, gives you the templates, it even gives you the bee. So if you want more than one bee, you can create this by using these templates that you've got here. Then we've got the wine carry. Now the wine carry is a beautiful little item because once again, once you've made one, you'll be able to make quite a few. And you can get both of these books for £25 and 98 pence today. Or you can buy them with the bundle. Now, in the bundle that we were looking at earlier, remember you get those large sheets that we've already got. Remember, everything is breaking down for you is what we've already got. Let me show you one. Any one, Matt, whichever one you want, I'll just show them the templates that we've got. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Uh, so, remember, in this kit, you're getting both booklets that are already there. So there are booklets. From there, if we open this out, let's do it that way, then you can see the teddy bear. So you're getting all the templates for the teddy bear already in there. So you aren't going to worry about the templates this time because they're already cut for you. All you simply need to do is go through your templates and you're good to go. You've also then got, as you can see, your picnic blanket. So this is your picnic hamper that we've already got from there. We've got, so, and then we've got all these panels to make the beautiful, beautiful quilt that we've got as well. Okay, so that is just one. That's one of them that we've got there. Then we've also got, Matt, thank you. Uh, then we've also got your second one. Now, with your second one, uh, once again, you're getting the larger panels in here, because remember, this is to make the wine carry. It's also ready to make the, uh, the two blankets, so the honeycomb blankets and also the large blankets. So you're getting large bits. Let me just show you one size material that you're getting. Look at the sizes that you're getting there, the big old panels. And you're getting quite a few of these. And there's your, there's your next panel that we've got there as well. Let me throw it over. Then you're getting, I would buy this just for the fabric, because look at what you're getting in this. This is absolutely beautiful. So remember, you're getting large chunks of the fabric. So this is more or less your pick and mix all in one. Then you've got your wine carry on the outer edge as well. Oh, God, I've got a hair in my mouth from somewhere. Um, but you know when you're talking, you're like, oh, I can't talk anymore, because it's right on the edge. Um, Oh, back it again. Uh, so, uh, so you're getting all the materials that are already in there. Thirty-two pounds. I can only apologise. Thirty-two pounds and forty-seven pence across. So, uh, look at what you're getting when you went for a little photo shoot. Uh, you are getting all of this. Ooh. Uh, you're getting all of this that you're currently seeing on the screen. Remember, you're getting the patterns in there as well. So you get the really easy patterns. And as our quilting cowboy man said himself, beautiful Dale, he did say that uh, should you get stuck, he's on all the Instas. Oh, you want to see him on the Instagrams. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we've got some new books as well. Uh, well. Now, these are not from the Quilting Cowboy. These are books that we already have on the show. Oh, here she is, our Jen. She's in later. She's in, our Jenny's in later. She's on at 11. 11 o'clock. Uh, our Jenny's in at 11. Last time she she went down a storm. The legend that is. The woman that knows more about quilting than you can shake a stick at. Oh, she's, she knows everything. Uh, these are from our Jenny as well. Uh, £18.94 and pence for both booklets is what you're getting in here as well. Material magic. Beautiful little book. Uh, 153971 is your item number. But we've also got pick and mix on the show. This is, uh, I love this collection. I sort of like all of them because if you look at all of them, they, they blend really, really well. Now this is Dia Valley that we're looking at at the moment and this is the one that the Quilting Cowboy went through at the top of the show. So you've got the beautiful acorns in there with the leaves and the trees, a nice staple background. This would be nice to, just to use in the, maybe a back of a card just to use with a little scenery, see little scene builder. Then you've got the check. We love a bit of check that you've already got here. 
So we do like the check that we've got. I love, I do, there's something about a check that I really enjoy. It's very picnic-esque about them. Uh, then, this, this, now this doesn't have to be for Christmas, but it does scream Christmas to me. Because you've got that deep burgundy in there, then you've got the black stag anklers, and you've got the tree and the stars in there. This would be, this would be beautiful. This would also be nice as a tree skirt. You know, from the little bottoms of your trees? Beautiful little tree skirt. This one would do as well, actually. Uh, so you've got another little, you've got the little berries that are in there as well, uh, with the vines and the leaves. Then you've got your arrows. Now, these little arrows are, I think, are the Quilting Cowboys uh, logo that we've already got. Then last but no means least, on the end of the counter... Uh, that we've got just here. Uh, so at the end of the category, we've also got the stars. Now remember he said the stars are one of his tattoos that we also uh, had on the show. So, uh, you can go for a pick and mix of any three. If it was me personally, I think I would go for the acorns. I would also go for a blender fabric, which would be the check. And then I'd possibly go for this burgundy as well, because they also work together, and these work together as well. And then you've got the three greens that would also work together at the end. But it's your choice is yours. Uh, and choice is yours. £19.49, 049277 is your item number for this pick and mix. Now, uh, we're going to carry on from where we left off. Remember, we're making the beautiful bottle carrier that you see just here. Now, once again, you can go for the booklets on their own. You can even go for the materials on their own. As you can see them next to me, they've used uh, this one and the star one at the front of another pick and mix that we've also got on the show. Uh, the details for that pick and mixer now on there. Choose any three half metre fabrics for those as well. Nineteen pounds and forty nine pence. Right, let's kick off where we left off. Uh, so we've just, when we left the quilting cowboy, he was just about to spray. I'm guessing it was glue. Let's find out. Temporary adhesive spray. Then add your yellow onto that. Then put the yellow side down. This is just an old piece of flannel here. And now I'm ready to put all the layers together, iron, then finish cutting up. Make sure these line up exactly. All right. We can only apologise. We can only apologise. The Quilting Cowboy... The, it's the VTs that we've got here, you see. We still use tapes. You remember the old VHSs? And we've just gone over three episodes of Coronation Street. I know, it was the good one as well. It's when Mike Baldwin owned the Knicker Factory. Oh, it's a corker of an episode. And Vera and Jack were painting their eyes blue and yellow and it was a controversy on the street. They started a petition. Do you remember? Do you remember? It's my favourite episode. Now Andrew's just taped over it. That and Heart Beast with Nick Owen. That's in the next show. They tape her. Whoa, we're taping over things left, right and centre. Do you know what we've also done? To save them, we've put a bit of tape over that bit of thing you used to rip away to protect them. We've gone straight in with black tape. Do you remember doing that? Uh, but you want some batting. If you're going to be creating wadding and stuffing, you want batting. Uh, we've got batting as well from Craft Yourself Silly. Oh... We know how to take a picture of batting, but you get a metre by a metre and a half. We could have wrapped someone in. We could have wrapped Paula in it, at least. Image coming soon. Uh, 
This show is going so well. Uh, nine pounds, and you can see why I get told off often. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence for a metre and a metre and a half. Four, three, five, six, three, four is your item. That's super soft. I know you can tell. Well, that's super soft. Let's go for super stiff. Well, well, I say. BAFTA. I don't know why we didn't get one last night, to be fair. Uh, 19 pounds and... 19 pounds. 9 pounds and 99 pence. 527839 is your item number. You're getting a metre by a metre and a half. Now, this is... Uh, you craft yourself silly, super stiff, batting one metre by a metre and a half, which is... I know we laugh in a joke, but it's a good quality batting, and it's also £9.99. pence. It's good quality at an amazing price. Uh, our fabrics that we've got on the show... We've also got them in fat quarters as well. Uh, so if you just want a little fat quarter bundle, we've got that on the show. Um, all six designs is what you're getting in the fat quarters for £19.99. You've got the Californian Spring. And then you've got the Deer Valley there as well. So maybe you just want little charm packs. Maybe you just want your little uh, fat, oh, hello. fat quarter bundle. Maybe you just want them. Because um, maybe you're going to... Oh, these would be beautiful. As we said before, it's like little lavender bags. Little lavender bags, or you just want to make little drawstring bags that's already there. 178631 is your item number for both of them. You just have to pick which one you're after. £19.99. But we're busy on the big bundle, and we knew we would be. This is the Quilting Cowboy, is what we're looking at. At £64.94. And now, remember, you can make the teddy bear... I'm loving the teddy bear. Uh, you can also make the wine carrier. You can also make the basket, which is nice, and the two quilts that hang behind me as well. And you also get all the materials. All you need to do is you need a good cutter and you need a bit of thread. And you are good to go by making all of these. Now, the basket would be beautiful. Maybe you're going to take it and go and put your little clippings in there. Put your little roses in from that rose bush that's growing. Oh, beautiful. But you need to know how to make it. Well, he's here again. He's pulled out all the stops. It's our quilting cowboy. First step of the project, just cut out your pieces, right? And these go together like this, match them up, and they're going to essentially be one piece. Okay. From here, what we're going to do is fold it in half, right, like this, and then sew down the edges here. That is done, so I'm going to set that aside. Grab your other piece and repeat the same step, only this time without the foam. Okay, so down here. That is done, and so we're gonna put the two pieces together, right, the way that they are, essentially lining them up across the bottom here, and then we're gonna sew, right, all the way down where the sewing already is, but basically incorporating all the layers. Okay, now one of the trickier steps, okay? So from here, essentially you're going to try and turn it inside out, all right? So I'm gonna grab this part here, right, which is the foam in the first layer, and turn that inside out. All right, let's see, get that to lay correctly. And then you have your other foam, which is gonna be the inside of the basket, right? And so it starts to take shape like this. Okay. All right, got it. And then what we're gonna do is take this inside of the basket layer and we're gonna fold it, right, over the top and pin it. So I'm gonna start here and just keep it square and pin this as we go around. All right, so you can see the lining is now tacked down, right, with pins. And so I'm gonna sew that into place. Okay, that is now sewn down, great. And so we're now going to address essentially the bottom of the basket. So what you're going to do is grab these, right, and put them face to face, all right, and kind of push that down in there, pinch it along, and we're going to be sewing this down but from this side, right? So you're gonna be focusing on the inside of the basket and grabbing all the layers. Actually, let me turn it a little bit inside out, it might be easier. Okay, here we go. All right, so grab all the layers 
and you're going to be sewing this down here, right? So make sure all of your layers are lined up and you're probably going to want to pin this just so that it holds in place. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing next. Just sewing along here once this is all pinned and lined up. Now that that is done, all right, sew it along here, sew it along here. I'm going to turn it back the other way. And it is pretty much done with the exception of putting on your handle. All right, so whatever material you bought for the handle, right, this is looking pretty good. I just want to get these corners out. There we go. And on the other side, corner, corner. Okay. So there, and then whatever you bought for the handle, right, we're just going to put across here. I usually use about a 10 inch, you know, piece of material, whether it's a, a ribbon or a double sided fabric. So then that is essentially it. And there you have it. It's just that easy. So I hope you enjoyed that project. What a nice little shot at the end. I like that. Uh, Quilt and Cowboy, he's a genius. He's an absolute legend, he is. I'm absolutely loving him. And he gets you right involved, doesn't he? He gets you right involved that you really want to take part. Um, especially with, with the, what you're getting in the kit. So you get full instructions and diagrams as well. Very easy broken down for you. Then you get all the patterns. You can see the teddy bear that we've got here and the start of the basket that's already done for you as well. And you are getting both of these. You're getting both of them, which correspond with both of the books. £64.94, 550114 is your item number now we haven't got much left a time Elizabeth at all uh, right then 32 pounds and 47 pence is what you're looking at remember that for that large bundle you can also split it down onto flexible payments as well remember with those flexible payments what you're actually getting there is you're getting a little deal you're getting a little bonus for the sheer fact there is so much you can achieve when you get this home uh, we've only got two minutes left and we've moved our way back to the bundle itself. Remember, anyone that bought during the hour, uh, your name, so anyone that's bought during this hour, your name has now been entered into our prize draw. Remember, this will be drawn on the 4th of August at four o'clock, um, final call. Um, so I think we should add something to it. The, the, the other team have done very well, our Paula, Yanis, and Hayley, they've added everything that you need. So now, I'm going to add something to it as well. Let's add the teddy bear fabric and the booklet as well uh, to, this is worth, remember we're in a happy hour at the moment, £53.97. So it now takes our complete value of prize to £1,082.76. And someone will be walking away with everything that you see here. How? This is how. Uh, would you like to be, would you like to enter the biggest ever prize draw? Uh, all you have to do is complete a purchase during our live shows uh, featured within the Summer Festival of Quilting event and you'll receive an automatic entry. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes on the bundle because the bundle will grow. Oh, it will grow. Well, I've got a few more shows today uh, and we are going to add to the bundle. The bundle will grow and we'll be giving it away at final call on 4 p.m. on the 4th of August. So you, one of lucky person, will be walking away with an overlocker, I think, that's in there. Uh, batik fabrics, um, jelly rolls are in here as well, needles and threads, uh, steamer seam that's in here as well. There is so much that's already in here and we have now added the quilting cowboy himself. And all you simply have to do is keep your eyes peeled for another show of the Summer Festival of Quilting. You can't go wrong. Oh, look who's up next. Talking about a quilting cowboy. Yes, indeed. We have our very own cowboy here himself. Stetson and the horse is parked outside. It's a look at your one day special. Oh, by the way, it's Scott. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft for mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. 
I think for me crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn, there's always something new to play with and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well, that's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. I'm really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family, really excited about it, seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for 